Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Aunty. In today's episode, I am going to talk about something called the next swipe syndrome. Yes, it's a word that I just made up. <laughs> this is the constant nagging feeling that you have that you can do better. No matter who you're with, whether it's a current boyfriend or a girlfriend or somebody you're meeting through the arranged marriage market or through dating apps, you constantly feel like you can do better. You feel like your perfect soulmate is just a swipe away, which does not allow you to invest your time and energy into building the relationship that you're currently in. It may not even be a relationship. It could just be one or two conversations that you've had that seem sort of pleasant, like nothing wrong with it, but you just don't feel like it's right. So why does this happen to us and how can we deal with this? This is a question that I get asked a lot, but not directly, but People constantly come and tell me, hey, I'm just not able to find the right one. Everybody that I meet seems just about okay. No red flags really, but then I'm not feeling it, right? So I'm going to say two things, right? Um, one, we evaluate this situation in a very static manner. We say, okay, this person has these, these qualities. And yes, I believe that this is what I will value for the rest of my life. And these qualities will remain as they are. And there will be no other changes in this person. So yes, I will go with this person or I will not go with this person is how we view this situation. Now, these things are not static. Our needs are not static. The people that we're with are not going to be the same. They are going to evolve in a relationship with us over time. Our needs are going to evolve with time after being in a relationship with somebody and so on. So to evaluate this in a static manner requires you to think about those things that you believe need to be constant or you expect it to be constant in your relationship. Number two, we think that a person with XYZ qualities can give us a certain type of life. While there may be a strong correlation based on what you've seen am amongst your friends or family or whatever, this does not imply causation, right? There is a huge difference between who a person is and what they can offer in a relationship. Now, you want to optimize for what type of a relationship you want to build or what type of a relationship is nurturing for you and then work backwards in terms of what kind of a partner will be able to provide that for you versus saying, hey, I you know, think this partner is great. They look attractive. They're like smart. They're doing well in their life, blah, blah, blah. Hence, they are going to give me this sort of a life. So I would suggest that you look at it backwards, starting from what type of relationship you want to build right now to answer the very particular question of why do i constantly feel like i deserve better that's a question that you have to ask yourself what do you think you deserve and i don't want you to answer this in the form of what type of a person you deserve but what kind of a relationship do you deserve given who you are what type of a relationship is what you deserve or what you desire for and ask yourself the person that you're with is this person capable and interested in helping build such a relationship with you that will allow you to either engage or disengage in that particular relationship now there is no way to know whether a certain person can bring those values into the relationship or whether they're committed to make a relationship work with you unless you invest time and energy into this relationship. And that is the problem with most relationships these days. People don't give it enough time to really understand what values the other person brings or whether together you're capable of building something that both of you desire out of a relationship. Now, if you want to evaluate something in a week, in a month, uh, it is going to be very difficult for you to make such a big decision. So I would say as long as people are respectful, pleasant, affectionate, loving, interested in making a relationship work with you, there is no reason for you to discount this opportunity and say that, hey, this person isn't tall enough or attractive enough or I'm not feeling it because... This feeling that you're talking about is very fleeting. 
what lasts forever is commitment commitment to make it work commitment to make a relationship work takes a bit of time from both parties to really get to know each other a little bit and understand whether you are committed to making something work together so what i suggest is when you meet somebody give it time unless there are blaring red flags striking in your face saying you know this doesn't work right give it time if if you're not feeling it give it a little time and ask yourself why you're not feeling and do you think these feelings will sort of develop over time if you cannot trust you know that's something you can work on with time if you're not feeling physically attracted to somebody this is not something that will develop over time you know most of the times it's either there or it isn't but having said that emotional connection can take precedence over physical attraction but they're not one and the same thing so i hope this helped answer uh, some sort of confusion that some of you uh, may have had which is why i got all of these questions um, if you have any other questions or if you are stuck in a dilemma you don't really know whether you should be with you know the person that you're with right now um, or you should find someone else uh, do feel free to reach out to me uh, i'm going to leave a link to my website below in the description box and you know do sign up for a session with me if you find that useful um i would love to hear your thoughts comments feedbacks uh, about this video and i look forward to engaging with you good luck and happy spouse hunting as usual